Merci Philippe euh, aussi de, de, de justifier mon. de, 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 de mettre en valeur mon, mon accent québécois. Um, I'm honored to be here today to talk about Airbus Helicopter and Airbus Defense in Space. So, it's truly an exciting time today to be part of Airbus. As Philippe was mentioning, we've been in Canada, Airbus Helicopter has been in Canada since 35 years. We're celebrating this this year. Uh, we have a fleet of more than, we're supporting a fleet of more than 700 helicopters by more than, uh, with uh, 200 users across the country. We have 270 uh, employees based in the Fork area where the headquarters is, and we also have a support center in Richmond, British Columbia. How come this slide is not the same as this? Yeah. Got it, but okay. Take, take That's okay, no problem. Uh, one important, I mean, the revenue roughly for Airbus helicopter in Canada is around 120 million per year. And one important thing to know is that the repair and overall department, which has expanded its capabilities in 2018, provides overall services and dynamic component repair to Airbus helicopter operators worldwide for the light product, product ranges. Next slide. Okay. The revenue streams that we have for Airbus helicopters, uh, you have the sales and deliveries, the composite manufacturing, repair and overall, the supplementary <coughs> certificate, and the spare sales that we do. The Fort Area Facilities is a recognized center of excellence for engineering and composite manufacturing, and is the sole source supplier of 50 various installed parts on Airbus helicopters, flying all over the world, thanks to the expertise of its team and its competitiveness. Airbus Helicopter Canada produces a composite components for a variety of Airbus helicopters, leading models, and are sold internationally more than 100 and 100 markets. Today, more than 50% of the workforce in Fort Erie is working on product for export, which is very important because we're in Canada, and then one of the main activities to do is that we sell to the country, but the Canadian market, to have access to the larger export market, this is the, the goal, and we started that 35 years ago. It's a very good uh, offset ITB story. Safety is our top priority. At Airbus, we are a team of qualified aerospace <coughs> professionals providing reliable, flexible, and cost-effective helicopter solution. Available around the clock and in close proximity to our customer. This is why we have facilities around Canada. We keep our customer flying wherever the mission takes them. Airbus Helicopter has a greater than 50% of market share over the last 15 years. Airbus is the leading manufacturer of Airbus helicopter, uh, helicopters used throughout Canada in roles such as law enforcement, emergen emergency uh, medical services, oil and gas utility. The key operators include, are in Canada, the iconic Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Ontario Provincial Police, Hydro One, Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources, STARS, which is Shock Trauma and Air Services, to name a few. In December 2018, Airbus delivered the first H145 into the Canadian market. The versatile twin-engine aircraft is operated by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Additionally, a multiple H145s are being delivered to the Canadian EMS market in 2019. <coughs> Airbus in Canada is looking forward for future opportunities in the military sector as well for the rotary aircraft. <laughs> Defense and space, this is the part that I'm, uh, I'm responsible in Canada. Our headquarters is based in Ontario and uh, Ottawa. Our core business includes military aircrafts, uh, space system, unmanned aerial system, and communication, intelligence, and security. We are involved in various programs in Canada. And the main thing is what we do is we bring our European expertise and capabilities, team with local Canadian industry, to go after those programs. It's all the same, this is what we do. We bring the best that we have, that we know, team with the Canadian expertise. And we're, we're going after the program. This is an example of the C-295 aircraft, the yellow aircraft you see there. I have a slide to talk about it later, but this took more than 10 years to, uh, to, to position ourselves to, 
with the Canadian team to bid and win this contract. <coughs> and in the below there, I want to point out that uh, a lot of people don't know, but Airbus Defense in Space is the second largest space company in the world. Next slide. Those are examples of products that are currently in operation in Canada, except for this one, the C-295, that we're going to be delivering this year, as Philip was mentioning. But we've been in Canada for more than 20 years with various products. Either we have flying platforms already, the A310, they call in Canada the, C, the, the Polaris, the C-150 Polaris. We have drones, we have system, uh, communication system on board aircrafts, we have various uh, satellite and space platform, either on the satellites or on the ground that we have for space. And also we have various uh, space uh, customers, industry customers, for providing a satellite communication system. Next slide. This is, for defense and space today, this is our top priority. Deliver the C-295 aircraft. To give you a high level number of, uh, of the high level of the uh, C-295, uh, this was uh, awarded in, in December 2016. It was a 2.4 billion contract. <coughs> Um, the good thing about this aircraft is we're delivering a 16 C-295 aircraft with an advanced mission system. What it means for the users, for the Canadian, Canadian forces, is that they'll do less searching and more rescuing. They've been operating the same aircraft for more than 50 years and having a new state-of-the-art equipment aircraft combined with the mission system is a game changer for them. Yeah, and uh, this, this, uh, I want to mention our partners because, as I was saying before, this aircraft is a European fuselage, but combined with plenty of Canadian components and partnership. And this is why it was a good aircraft for Canada. It was the best value for Canada. So we are, our main partners that we have are Provincial Airline, will do the in-service support of the aircraft over the years, CAE for the trainer, we have Pratt & Whitney for the engine, and L3 Westcam for the optronic system that they use on the aircraft. And the Air Pro was just the joint venture that we created for the Union Service Support contract for the, the remaining years after we delivered the aircrafts. Next slide. Other programs that we're looking at, just to name a few, just to highlight about the activities, because everything about defense in space takes time. Uh, the average procurement cycle for d and is really around 10 years, so you have to position yourself early to make your team ready and also to get ready for the outset. <coughs> so the, one of the items, that, one of the uh, programs that we're looking at, we're looking at the replacement of the CP-140, the Maritime, Maritime Patrol aircraft, with our A320neo. We're looking at various space programs as well. We have one to replace the uh, radar SAT program. This one is called the Synthetic Aperture Radar, is the replacement, new generation. So we're providing that for Earth observation. We also have various programs for uh, satellite communication. This one that D&D uh, to have the communication in the north. So this one is called the Enhance SAT Communication <coughs> Project, Polar. And of course, we have also uh, some UAV programs. One of them is the picture. It's, uh, it's a high altitude solar power, solar power um, UAV, and to detect uh, either monitor fire, fire, forest fire, or maritime uh, surveillance. Next slide. So Canada is looking to uh, a new fleet of uh, fighter aircraft. And uh, we're very engaged, and we have a great aircraft for that. We want to propose a Typhoon. Canada is buying 88 aircrafts. Typhoon is the most advanced new generation multi swing roll fighter on the market today. We're fully compliant with the Canadian requirements. This will be a Canadian solution. It will provide a mixed fleet to NORAD, which is a key element to have a mixed fleet to protect the defense of, of North America. And of course, as we said before, with our Canadian <coughs> partners that we're going to have, it's going to be a Canadian solution. And it's going to be a good value for Canada. Next slide. Another uh, 
By the way, for the Typhoon, I want to mention for the fighter competition, the RFP is coming out in mid of this year, right before the election. And Canada will be in October. The MRTT for us is the, uh, the strategic tanker transport aircraft. This aircraft carry the most fuel, carry the most passengers, and carry the most cargo. This solution is to replace the existing A310 that they have now in operation, is to transport either fuel or, or cargo, but also for VVIP transport for the Prime Minister. We're proposing we'll do the same type of approach that we took. We have the technology, we, this market segment, Airbus got around 75% of the work share. And what we'll be doing is that do the same approach as we did before, is we find local partners, local Canadian industry, to build with a team in order to provide a solution that's the best value for Canada. The RFP for the, MR, the uh, STTC program is scheduled to be in 2021. Next slide. As I was mentioning earlier, a lot of people don't know about space, about the activities that we do. So one of the a lot of activities that we're doing in Canada at the moment is to um, engage more with the, with the Canadian Space Agency, with D&D, and also with, uh, with industry and space program in Canada. And one of our key programs for space, other than the one I mentioned earlier, is this one called Leo Vintage Constellation. <coughs> this is for a customer, Telesat, a Canadian customer, who want, wants to build this big satellite um, um, constellation around the globe. We're looking around 300 satellites. Uh, we're in competition right now to be selected. It's one of the two uh, funded uh, design that, are, that we have to provide the solution to Telesat. And one of our key elements here is to provide not only that we have the know-how to build this constellation, but also we're looking at the, uh, potentially building those satellites in Canada. If we were to build a manufacturing satellite facilities in Canada, this will be a game changer for, for Canada, for space in Canada. <coughs> So, I want to thank you very much for your time and to give me a chance to talk about defense and space activities that we do in Canada. Uh, as you can see, I'm sure I'm pretty excited to be working for, for Airbus right now, especially in Canada. So, that's it for me. Thank you, Philip. Thank you all. <laughs>